welcome back to lecture on airport engineering today we will be discussing on the sub topic airport lighting the last lecture we have seen about the lecture on marking today we will be discussing about lighting why a, a lighting facility is being provided as we are aware the major operation in an airport is going to be the landing operation and take off operation for these purposes we are having the marking and lighting so what is the essential difference major difference between marking and lighting marking is helping the aircraft or the pilot in landing and take off operation in the day time or when say when there is going to be enough sunlight is going to be there the pilot will be able to visualize and see the marking but in case if there is going to be no the operations are happening in the night time or in case if there is going to be heavy rain is going to be there or thunderstorms are going to be there then it's not possible the marking will not work so then the landing and the take off operations are controlled by lighting or you can say marking is a facility that we are providing in the day time and lighting is a facility that we are providing in the night time so that is the difference between airport marking and airport lighting what does it mean airport lighting the simple meaning is the definition is it is a standardized pattern of lights for identifying the key locations of the airport at night so it is the standardized pattern of lights to identify the different locations of an airport it's not only the runway it is the taxiway it is the hangar it is the terminal building all these are going to be lighted so that the pilot who is coming long away from our place suppose it is mumbai airport he is not aware about where exactly the location of our control tower our hangar our taxi way so he will be able to identify by seeing these kind of lighting at the night time now in the figure you can see aircraft it is about to land very near to the threshold marking both the sides of the runway there are going to be lights are being provided so that the pilot will be able to identify where exactly he has to land based upon the landing uh, lighting system landing for li li lighting for the landing system it is divided into two we call it as calvert system and icao system this calvert system is developed by scientist esc calvert in great britain and hence this is being used it is widely used in europe and other parts of the world but in india we are following a system called icao system yeah it is also known as a central line configuration system now coming to what are the different types of lighting the lighting systems can be divided into airport beacon airport lighting airport hangar lighting boundary lighting lighting of landing indication indicator lighting of wind direction indicator runway lighting taxiway lighting and threshold lighting coming to each and every one each and every aspect number one is about the airport beacon so you are all have seen the beacon so this is considered to be the airport beacon where you can see there is a continuous rotation of this beacon which is emitting green white and yellow lights heavy charged lights are going to be there 
strong beam of light very strong beam of light used to indicate the geographical indication of the airport it is situated well above the horizontal level it is assumed that there is about six revolutions per minute is happening so from a long distance this is going to be the beacon the second one is about the approach lighting so you can see here in the figure the runways are going to be there here this is going to be the place where there is going to be the approach of the aircraft towards the runway so that is also being lighted so that the pilot will not find any difficulty in aligning the aircraft so that exactly on the threshold point the aircraft is touching the ground here approach lighting the next one we call it as the apron and hanger lighting we have already seen what is an apron apron what is an apron apron is going to be a place where the aircrafts are parked either temporarily or permanently so that means after landing operation maybe it may go to the terminal building or then again it has to come and it will be kept in the apron so the lights are being provided at the apron point and also hangar hangar is also another important component of an airport where you can see the maintenance and the repair works of an aircraft is being carried out inside the hangar so that is also being decorated lighted properly then we have got the boundary lighting the airport boundary has to be lighted properly airport boundary the when the pilot in uh, identifies the airport he will be identifying the locality of the airport by seeing the lights so around the boundary wall is going to be there and 3 meters inside there are going to be lights are going to be continuously lights are going to be there so that the pilot will identify yes this is the airport which i am supposed to land this is called boundary lighting see the boundary lighting red colored highly charged and it is slightly above the ground level then lighting of landing direction indicator so when the uh, aircraft wanted to land there is should be the proper direction in which the landing action to be taking place otherwise the runway has to be parallel runway has to be parallel the direction of landing should be parallel to the runway that indication given by the lights so here you can see how exactly the aircraft coming to the point from where it moves into into and entering into the threshold light and then the bar so this is going to be the indication then the wind direction as we know the orientation of an airport is usually done with the help of the wind direction so we should be always the engineers in the site also and also the pilot how to lighting of wind direction indicator so this is a figure of lighting of wind direction indicator then we have got what we call it as the runway lighting so as we know the most important operations in the case of an airport happening is in the runway that is about the a take off operation and also the landing operation so after the crossing the threshold the pilot must complete the touch down and roll out on the runway so for that purpose the runway lighting is being carried out see the figure it will be in later classes we will be identifying what are going to be the components and how this has to be lighted properly the airport lighting the different what all we have seen to on a runway lights so this is going to be the 
approach this is going to be the approach lighting approach lighting so the runway you can see here these are going to be the lights which indicates the correct location of the up, uh, runway so this is what we call it as a approach lightings then we have got the approach side row lights so from the approach on the left side as well as on the right side we have got the lights we call it as the approach side row lights then we are entering to the point where you can see afterwards the aircraft is touching on the runway we call it as the threshold lights so this is going to be the threshold lighting threshold lighting then immediately after the threshold you can see the touch down zone right? actually the aircraft has touched the runway then we have got the papi lights of course a technical that we will be seeing next point is going to be the papi lights what are going to be the papi lights and how it is going to be used and then we have got the runway central line lighting so in marking also we have seen the same railway runway central line is to be marked till the end so here also the runway central line is going to be with the help of the then the runway edge both the side on the left side as well as on the right side there should be proper runway edge light should be there so these are all we call it as the runway lights because we all have seen so different kinds of uh, the most important one it is about the runway lights then we have got the second component is about the taxiway so taxiways are supposed to be the roads which is leading from the runway to terminal to the hangar to different parts so that portion is also being lighted so that from the runway from the from the runway from the runway when you are taking the aircraft to different components there should not be any mistake because during the night time after the aircraft landing into the uh, uh, runway it is to be thrown to the terminal building then to the hangar building maybe it is to be parked see these are all places are going to be marked properly so that is what taxi we are lighting so altogether what we have seen so far it is about the runway as well as different parts of the airport lighting what is the purpose the purpose is it is the lighting is provided so that the landing and the taking operations happening in the night time will not have any difficulty a smooth operation of landing and taking off is possible with the help of airport lighting thank you for